Hi, I'm Chef Amy Hoagie, and I'm here to show you how to make crepes with strawberries and bananas. This is a perfect little dish to have on those special breakfast occasions like Christmas morning. And here's how we do it. We're going to go ahead and preheat a crepe pan. Now, you don't have to get a super expensive one, but a nice kind of heavy-duty one with a small um, cooking surface is really nice. I'm preheating at medium heat. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my half a cup of flour about half a cup of milk. We're going to do a pinch of salt. We're going to do about a tablespoon of sugar. And then we're going to do one egg. Oh, heck, I'll just go ahead and add our melted, our softened butter at this point. Then I'm just going to whisk it. Now, the classic French way to make this is you need to let it sit for about 20 minutes. We're just going to go ahead and speed it up a little bit because we're hungry. We're going to make some crepes here. So it's a, it's a thinner, it's thinner than a pancake. There we go. I'm going to let that sit. Okay, now the other thing we're going to do is I've already chopped up some bananas and strawberries. We're going to go ahead, once these are cooked, we're going to saute them in a little butter and pour them right on top. So I think my pan's pretty hot. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of oil, vegetable oil on there. Then what I'm going to do is go ahead and pour some of this batter in there. We're kind of making a big crepe, a little bit bigger than I normally do. I'm going to let it flatten out here, cover the bottom. That's a, that's a big puppy there. Okay, we're going to cook it up a little bit. This looks beautiful. It's not sticking to the pan. It's the perfect color. All we're going to do now, since it's a little thicker, is I'm going to kind of fold it in thirds. And then we're just going to slide it onto our pan here, onto our plate. You know, it kind of popped open. Not a big deal. What we're going to do is we're going to take some butter. This is kind of the classic way to make the crepe. You're going to melt some butter on here. Once that's all melted, I'm going to throw in some strawberries and some bananas. We're going to give it a quick saute. Caramelize that sugar in the fruit. Ooh, yeah. You just want to heat your, your fruit. You don't want to put cold fruit necessarily onto a hot crepe. I think that looks pretty darn good there. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and pour it right on top. Butter and all. You don't even have to butter that puppy up. Okay? And then the beautiful... Garnish on top is that powdered sugar. Woo-wee. And there you have it, a crepe with strawberries and bananas. <laughs>